Hello and welcome back to episode 27 of the Temple Adventures of Lobsang Blood. I'm Katech, this is Lobsang Blood ship, the Oi Dong, and we're here outside the Dera system where we finished last episode. In that episode we found Obersek's base, his last base, and ended up making a deal with him to support him in any way we could, just because, you know, we don't like Sela that much. So, let's see what our next mission is, shall we? Please tell us Colosseum. My contacts tell me that Starfleet has rejected my request for military assistance. That is regrettable, but not unexpected. The Tal Shiar are formidable opponents, as are the forces directing their action. I understand why the Federation would hesitate to engage them directly. So today I appeal to you, not as an ally in battle, but as a person of compassion. My people need your help. I need your help. One of our ships was carrying a load of Thaleron weapons through the Nopada system. That ship has disappeared. There are no indications there was a battle. It's as if my ship and its cargo simply vanished. I know you have your reservations about the lengths to which I will go to secure the freedom of my people. Tell me, if you do not trust me with Thaleron weapons, do you want Hakiv to have them? I can provide you with the last coordinates of the vessel. Please help me. Do what you will with the weapons, if they survive. But find my people. Righty-ho then. Uh, we have to go to the Napata system, which is located in the Cybalorum block, and search for the missing Riemann vessel. And we get 10,000 experience points, 10,000 expertise, well, almost 11,000. A Riemann prototype covariant shield array. It looks to be a decent shield. A bunch of dilithium ore, and that's about it. No options this time. That sounds okay. All right, let's accept it. The Riemann Resistance is very much in need of your help. Thank you, Obersec, for coming at me via FM radio. So, oh, the Nopada system. Doesn't look that far away. And indeed it is not. That's the Gathco system from the previous... One of the, one of the previous missions. Uh, that would be uh, 22. And here are the Nara... The Dera system. That's a, we're doing a whole bunch of uh, searching around here. But let's head off to the Napata system, shall we? Here we are in the Napata system. On 60% of the land mass is classified as desert. The more temperate areas are on the coast of the Takea Ocean, but violent tides make this uninhabitable. The fauna of Napata Prime is adapted to life on the harsh planet, with daytime temperatures can soar to more than 48 degrees Celsius. It's almost as hot as here in Georgia in summer. Okay, so let's start Colosseum. Captain, I'm not reading any active vessels on scanners. There is, however, a debris field nearby. It's clustered around a satellite in orbit of the planet, and the composition of the debris corresponds with ships that have gone missing in this region. I'll keep scanning, sir, but we need to take a closer look before I can determine if there are Thaleron weapons on one of the hulks. Okay, let's standard mission profile. Efficiency for weapons. Let's move us in. Slowly, helmsman. Pick up the hydrazine as we're on the way. Ok, 
Can Miss Hulk, please? Captain, I'm not detecting a vessel that Obersex sent us to find, but all the ships in this debris field show signs of being affected by the same thing, a high-frequency energy beam that overloaded all their systems. If the Riemann ship was hit by that beam, it might have crashed into the planet's surface or gone adrift somewhere else in the system. That's a reasonable hypothesis, I guess. I mean, being in orbit gra in graph wells does make things difficult. I'm detecting energy readings from the satellite, sir. If the Riemann crew detected them as well, they could have tried to use it to record a distress signal. We'll need to be closer before I can attempt an uplink with the satellite communication relay. Warning. Ship oh. is under attack. Being held. What combat saying? Not saying anything. Okay. You're stuck. That is, uh, kind of freaky looking. Can we rotate the ship away? Yes, but no. Okay, let's scan that satellite. So it's causing this. Captain, we're stuck. Oh no, duh, Daz. This beam is holding us like a fly in a spider's web. We've managed to keep life support and environmental systems active, but almost everything else is offline. Shields, weapons, engines, nothing works. I'm not detecting any life signs on the satellite, sir, but there is a compartment with life support. The systems operating the beam must be automated. The chief says we have enough power in the backups for one transport. Recommend we send a team over to that satellite and find a way to turn the beam off. Yep, I think we're going to have to. I don't want to risk a shuttle. We're ready to beam over to the satellite on your orders, sir. Well, let's get to the transporter room quickly while we still have that power. Beam over. Captain, the consoles here appear to control the beam that's draining power from the Oidong, but does a security lock prevent an access? We need to find a usable console. Weapons out. You never know what's going to be around here again. Hazardous situation, keep an eye out. Let's try this operations override console. Operational state. Lock online. Okay, that one doesn't work. Let's try this one. Set access to satellite operations console. Engage in another operation. Scan that gas. Never look at gift gas in the mouth. Okay, so these two consoles are no good. Here. Scan that, will you, Tarsi? Console here. Two of them. Let's try the power generator console. Engage. Let's try the override. Power segment is disengaged. Process priority order over it. That doesn't help. Let's keep searching.
their engine core. This here, cargo bay console. This console doesn't appear to be locked like the others. Whoever did this must not have thought the console used for inventory control was important. I think I can access a back door into the rest of the satellite's program from here. I see the problem. The Romulan consoles are causing a lockout by forcing the satellite's primary processors to run through a series of equations and removing key bits of information from the answers, which causes the processors to lock up. If we can solve those equations and input the correct information directly into the consoles, the security lock on the satellite's controls should be released. I've downloaded the corrupted equation onto this console for us to work on. If we need to solve the equations. See, numbers incorrect. Addition, okay, so 1, 9, yes, 6 plus 1, that's 7. Could be, and 3, 1, 1. So, 4, 4, 4, and that should be 7, not 4. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, four, five, two, four thousand five hundred twenty-eight minus two thousand nine hundred seventy-four gives. Uh, I think that's five. Is it five? Yes, it is. Now let's see. Fifty-nine times forty-nine. 2,891, I think. Yes, and now for the thing I love most of all. Division. Because who does not love division? Okay, so what have we got? 67, 26, 13... Or there something like that. Yeah. I think that's 39. Has to be. Uh. Yes. Okay. Now for some more complex ones. Okay. 87 times 23. 2001. This is. Like just like what playing uh this is just like playing countdown, except weirder. It's two thousand and one plus two six three one. So that would be four six three two. So this A would be six. And this would be three. Yep, yeah, okay. Now let's see. Nine nine eight six Minus two four six one is five two five seven. Okay, divide that by forty three. Oh yeah, five uh, seven five two five. Divide by forty three. Hundred and seventy five. Yep. Okay. See, I didn't see the uh, the five there. Okay, so. Oof. Okay, now oh, they're, now they're getting silly. Okay, six three six two minus five six three four. Either 728 on the left side, and then 54 times 68, 3672, and then we're going to add those two together. So 3672 plus 728 plus 1, 4400 is what I make it. Ooh. 
Woohoo! Captain, we've solved the equations that were causing issues in the other consoles. Now we need to plug these correct values into the console controlling the security lock, and then we should be able to access all of the satellite's major operations. Okay, so let's use that. And... Um, first we need to look around over here. Over here. Just the other side of the console. More stuff over here. Looks like it. Ah, more consoles. Looks like. Targeting override console. And what's over here? It looks like we've gone to the entire ship. Okay, you can put your weapons away. Targeting override console. Monitoring sensors, overriding selection algorithm, ship identification program, overriding friendly safeties, telemetric data, forcing target selection, firing controls, automated actions. So 7599. We've uh, added the friendly safeties, made it manual. Okay. Ah, these ones have been unlocked. Targeting consoles. Captain, this console controls the satellite's targeting functions. I'm not sure if there's a way to disable whatever it is that's disabling the systems on our ship, but if we can get this satellite to target something else, we might have a chance of frying our ship free. Let's access long range scanners. Access long range scanners. Object detected. USS Oidong, currently targeted. Please select an option. Let's expand the scan range to 100 kilometers. No new objects identified. Band to 500 kilometers. No new objects identified. Expand to 1000 kilometers. New objects identified. Derelict, all. Open ship identification program. Ship identification program, derelict vessel, identified, disabled, object derelict hulk, non-functional. Okay, so let's reclassify the derelict hulk as, hulk as active. Okay, examine telemetric data for all identified targets. Uh, object detected, USS Oidong, telemetry Y. Coordinates, derelict hold, there's it, coordinates, okay, to access the target control, uh, active targets, Oidong, derelict hulk, let's redesignate the derelict, derelict hulk as primary target. Captain. The satellite has ensnared a piece of debris near the ship. Its stranglehold on us is weaker, but we're not out of the woods yet. Critical systems are stable, but we still don't have weapons or long-range communications. Well, that's a good thing. Let's hurry up a little. A bit weaker, so we got a little bit of power back. Get this all. They're just gonna leave it around. Free stuff. Try this console now. It's, it's the nearest. Over right. It. Power save modes disengaged. Prior process priority order overwritten. Code. Access power generation console. This console looks like it controls the security of the satellite power supply. 
since we weren't able to free our ship by targeting something else. Perhaps we can decrease the power of the satellite's weapon. Then it might be able to break free. Sure, let's try that. Let's, uh... Update the power save modes. Uh, current power save mode. Power user. Sa save mode never. Power allocation full. Sounds like me on this laptop. Let's make it economical. Return to the main menu. Let's set process priority values. Current priority values, life support 1, environmental 5, pulse emitter 15, beam displacer 15, targeting 60. Let's set it to factory defaults. Captain, we found that the Oidong does not attempt to move or fire up the station satellite, that it'll engage a lower power version of the beam affecting us. It's almost like an energy saving mode. Yeah, well, we just turned that on, yours. We can use that to our advantage. At least we won't have to worry about life support. We'll hold the ship stable and keep working on boosting power to critical systems while you try to disrupt the satellite's function and free us. Yeah, you do that, yours. Let's try these last consoles. Now, around this corner. Operational state locked. Use the code. Mass code. Operational state is conditional. Everybody grab a bench. Let's use it. This console controls the satellite's general operations, Captain. We've managed to minimize the power output of the satellites. I think if we keep at it, we can switch the satellite's controls over to a sleep mode that will shut down everything but life support and power. Let's change the operational state then. Current operational state on. Let's set it to off. Captain, systems are coming back online all over the ship. We have weapons, shields. Even the replicators are working again. Transport is the standing by, sir. We can beam you back as soon as you're ready. Oh, yeah, let's check around. Is there any clues as to who, who did this? No? I really should probably update my tricorder, though, but I like this old bat, this old box, so I, I'm just going to get the, the boffins to, and the clever nords to go and put... Uh, a new tricorder in that old box for me. Okay, let's... Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Do you all agree? Yes? Yes? Okay, let's head back. Energize. Hey, wait a sec. This isn't my ship. Agrajag? Is that you? Where am I? Now what? If you fail to comply with command, Now we fight, we or we die. Make sure you pick up a melee weapon. All of your gear is deactivated, and I won't protect you in there. What are those weapons over there? I've never seen those weapons used before by anyone in the arena. I think the mercenaries who act as the occasional guard thought that those weapons might actually be worth something, unlike the beat-up ones they let us use. My best guess is that they're looking to sell them at some point when their contract here is up for some extra money. Hey, I know you, you're Slamet. I saved you from that place on, on Nimbus 3. That, that place they were experimenting on you at. I was back on episode 19. At uh, installation 18, wasn't it? 
go get them. Can see falchion. Yes, I better equip it. Why well, I guess we gotta go over here and grab one of these. Um, let's see. Batleth, a lurper, or a sword. There's nothing wrong with a lurper as well. I right, Batleth. Remember to equip your new weapon. Now let's get one of each. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. If everyone does 165, one we got there, this one's 190. Yikes, about left 145. Yeah, I think we'll put the breath in, even though the, the falchion does, does more. Now we enter the arena. This way. Yes. Commencing test one. Nopadin Desert Akari entering testing area. Enemy Fine, I'll come save you. Commencing test two. Releasing Warrigals now. Got to, isn't it? Enemy targets on Prisoner one four seven eight, remain in the area for interrogation. Prisoners return to holding area. Failure to comply will result in punishment. I'll head back to my holding area. Hey, Slamek, you okay? What do you want? Slamek, how'd you get here? The escape from Installation 18. I remember you as well. It seems your prison break, however well-intentioned, just ended up the same way. It's enough to make me think that I keep picking the wrong side. After escaping the Installation, I joined up with a freighter. We were passing near this system when we were snared by a satellite and drifted into the planet's atmosphere. The ship crashed, and even though I activated an emergency transporter to beam several of us to the planet's surface, we were captured almost immediately by a group of soldiers. Since then, 
I've been stuck in this cage, watching my former crewmates fight and die in this arena. Now I'm the only one left alive. That is all I know. Soldiers? What kind of soldiers? I don't know who was responsible for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries, without any clue about what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way. The night I was brought in, I was interrogated. There were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions. Whoever it was took care to conceal his identity. Was that the first time you were interrogated? No. I have been questioned by these people several times before. My reluctance to answer their questions earned me this shock collar. Refusal to help them now is quite painful. Interestingly enough, this was the first time I've been questioned about another participant in the arena. They asked how you treated me, and if you had said anything about why you were here. They even wanted to know if I thought we could become friends. Someone thinks you are very important. Why would they want to know these things? I have no idea what they want with us, or why they make us fight. This all seems like some sort of giant game, but there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Am I the only person you've been paired with so far? I've had several partners in my battles. You are the only one about which I've been questioned. You must have impressed our masters. I know you have impressed me. Are we the only ones here? I think there are others. I hear other fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged unless we are fighting. How many fights have you been in? Too many. Do you know of any way past their defenses? The trainers carry key cards. That's the only way I know to get through the defenses. You think we can get one of them cards? Can I trust you? Uh, yeah, sure, always. I can see that we think the same way, friend. A few years ago, I worked as a bodyguard for a Ferengi merchant. He had a talent for acquiring latinum. And during my time with him, I learned a few things. I was able to lift a key card from one of the trainers during my interrogation. If you help me, I think we can overpower the guards and escape through the main door in the arena. Okay, then let's get out of here. I'm gonna go too quickly. Wait up, Slammer. Don't be too eager. Test scenario four activated. A hala released. We need more help! I'll try to free the other prisoners. You fight the worms! Use the consoles on the sides of the arena to fight the Elder Worm! Oof.
That's not good. We just blew up the, 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 the turret. How do we defeat this thing? Run. Just like last time. Use the remaining console on the side of the arena to fight the Elder Worm. Oh no, that one's gone as well. There's another set of consoles by the metal wall. Use them while the worm is distracted. Hit! I can't continue, my friend. You'll need to protect me. I'm gonna hide in here. Is this another set of cells? Looks like it. Is that gear any better? Does not appear so. Hey, they got knives. It looks like old, old sabers. What is that? Keep dodging. Ow. He got us. What are these consoles? Oh, this one right here. Release all the prisoners. Come on. I thought you were going to do that. How do we defeat this thing? Another set of consoles over here. Ah. The worm destroyed the metal wall! Run! That's our way out! In a minute, I gotta find... There's evidence here of temporal incursions somewhere. I need to find it. be in there. This is ourselves. Gotta be already I would have seen it back in here. What's 
this ore, which is I've thrown off my senses. Come on. Let's head through here. Sword ready. A Romulan base? Here? What did they want with us? And what is that device? Let's try over here first. Project Decimation. New subject, Captain Lob Sanglud, captured from USS Oidon. Initial analysis. Subject's threat level is high and risk of escape or intervention in testing is elevated. Notify Colonel Hakib and escalate to level 6 trials. Access test parameters. Project goal to develop a matrix of Alpha Quadrant species. We must determine which species can be pitted against one another for maximum devastation in impact to each. Tests will not be limited to sentient species, as the Iconians have technology that will allow us to effectively introduce new flora and fauna to alien worlds. Access research observations. Honored Master, it will take some time to complete my report, but I have a few personal observations for you that may prove useful. Please consider them when you make your plans. Humans and Klingons show the greatest proclivity towards fighting when there is no chance of victory. Breaking a Vulcan's emotional control will usually render them helpless. They have no ability to process the emotions that they so zealously suppress. Majorans will fight to the death to defend homes or loved ones, but they may reject a fight that does not threaten what they hold dear. Betazoids will detect betrayal almost immediately. Instantly, but their telepathic senses can be overwhelmed by extreme pain or violent thoughts. This can allow an infiltrator to escape their notice. A possible wedge to break the Klingon Empire may be the Gorn. More than 77% of Gorn captives chose to help another Gorn before assisting a Klingon, even if that choice resulted in the death of the Klingon. Herogen are formidable in single combat, but their fractured society reduces the threat level significantly. I've been unable to separate a Trill symbiote from its host because of separate study. Two attempts to implant a symbiote in a host from another species have failed. Both the symbiote and the host died within hours. Undine are quite interesting. I request more time to study this race in greater detail. Access records for prisoner 1478. Captured along with a small group of Riemann soldiers by Desert Patrol. Interrogation inconclusive. Recommend use of holographic conditioning. Single combat tests. Subject was wounded on four occasions but survived all tests. Recommendations Prisoner 1478 may be a suitable subject for team testing or alternative study. Forward data to Colonel Haki for evaluation. Access Personal Log. They've contacted me again. My associates have two tasks for me now. First is the destruction of the Remans. I understand their anger. The Remans are attempting to rise above their station. They're mindless slaves and they need to respect their betters. Taris was able to control them. After Starfleet captured her, the surviving Remans developed delusions of self-worth. This troublemaker who calls himself Obersek, who is he to tell them that they can be free? Does a beast of burden have the right to choose its own destiny? If the problem were not so irksome, it'll be almost comical. I will present Obersek's broken corpse to the Iconians in tribute. They will reward me richly for my loyalty. The second task will take more effort. The Iconians want data. They want the species of the Alpha Quadrant tested until they break. They want to know the weaknesses and how to exploit them. 
They want to see their strengths and know how to destroy them. I will admit I take little, no little pleasure in this task. It'll be quite entertaining to make some of those self-righteous humans turn on one another or push one of them blustering braggites from Kronos until he begs for death. Oh, and the Vulcans? I will make the Vulcans weep, and I will savor every tear. I know of an abandoned coliseum in the Napata system. We can find a way to lure test subjects there. It'll take time and effort, but I'm confident I can do what the Iconians want. What an asshole. Yep, I think that's... That and done. Ah, here's a console. Sable dampening field. Okay, great. Now we've got some real weapons. Probably re equip them. Uh, there's the minigun, and there's the full auto rifle. So we should probably get some captain level weapons at some point. Move up. Oh, there's the temporal probe. Let's handle that first. Please don't be a, a, a password. Please don't be a password. Please be the magic square of the word thing. Okay, let's unlock it. Crap. Okay, first digit is it a one? Yes. Is that a one? There are no more ones. There are no twos. There's a three bridge not there. That's um, okay. Third digit. There's a three perhaps? No, the last digit's a three. Okay. So, third is a four. Yes, we know that the last one's a three. Yes. Then the cool have been surreptitiously copying the findings in the computers here, gathering information from the experiments on various species in the arena. There's data on me in there. I don't know whether to be flattered or disgusted. An enemy operative. Oh, he had a dampening field. Still. Whoops. Didn't uh, double check. Yep, we've got that all. So now let's see what this console up here had. Going? That's a gateway? Yeah. It appears whoever created the laboratory has rigged controls to an Iconian gateway. Might be able to pull some information off the logs. Access the communications. I'm accessing most recent communication. Our master's patience wears thin, Hakeem. This time grows short and you still have not provided all the species data that they require. Are you having trouble acquiring targets? I can provide you with the necessary technology to modify the satellite and the Napata system. But your little snare is slow. What we need is more test subjects. Perhaps a small colony will be enough. I will contact you again to work out the details. Fantastic system transport log then. Last five destinations. From the Pada Base Delta. I guess that's here. The IRW Laval. Bree 3. Dera 4. And a... Uh, Hufnar listening post gamma. Hang on, we went there. Dera 4, that's where Obis Space was. 3, I don't know. I don't know where some of those are. 
Okay. It's access to gate controls then. A biometric signature mismatch. Access denied. Gateway shut down in 10 seconds. I guess we've locked it out. No, that should have beamed us out. Guess we'll have to escape through this waste pipe. Blah. Watch out! There are Romulan Scorpion fighters overhead. They're looking for us. We need to move quickly and smartly to avoid detection. I recommend we head to the east. See that mountain in the distance? My ship crashed on the other side. It may have something we can use to signal your vessel. The search for us will only get more intense the longer we stay here. We need to get away from the arena as quickly as possible. Okay, engaging runaway mode. I'm going to pin him. Right now he's behind him. There's a fighter heading straight for us. Quick, take cover in those dark rocks over there and wait for it to pass overhead. Stay still and wait for that fighter to pass overhead. If we are fortunate, they won't detect us. They didn't see us. Let's move on. I can't go on. My injuries from the arena are too painful. We need to find a place to rest for a moment. Head this way. Okay, you big crybaby, what's up? Forgive me, my friend, but the pain... <laughs> I need to rest, just for a moment. My wounds are agonizing. <sighs> I fear the worm's venom may have infected me. The pain is excruciating. My vision is blurred, and my blood burns in my veins. Maybe it's Ponfar. Okay. Before we were captured, my science officer said that the local plants here have medicinal qualities. Yeah, I bet he did. Please, I need your help. Find something to ease my suffering. I need something to disinfect my wound, something to treat my fever, and anything that will ease my pain. <sighs> Thank you, my friend. I know that I would have died today if it weren't for you. I need to find some medicinal plants, although I'm pretty sure that what your uh, science officer meant was that you get stone. And this plant? This plant has an analgesic quality. It won't be as strong as anything you have in the med bay. The oidong will take the edge off Slamic's pain. Might be enough to get him on his feet. Okay, what about this? This looks like it will work as an antipyretic. It should help alleviate his fever. Or she doesn't look healthy and aren't getting much sap, so you need to find a more robust sample. Like sunny and windy growing conditions. Okay, and what about this thing? The plant looks like it works as a disinfectant. If it's stringent enough to clear out any possible infection Slamic might have contracted from Moon's attack. You think you'll need more than one sample from this type of plant to deal with an injury as severe as his. It grows in the washes of deserts, located in large flat areas. Okay, so. Some right here. More over there. And a little bit further up there. Looks like some seed pods there. Is that? 
Another plant we need? Yes, it is. There we go. Put some of that. Oh dear. This is a big open desert. Looks pretty though. Okay, that looks like there's some trees up there. Islamic knows and understands what a pain in the arse he is. All because he can't run and dodge. Now I'm having to run everywhere. There we go. There's some. Now you can go get stone. Head back. Try now grab a little bit of a potential thumbnail. In all the, this is one of the more hated missions of, of all of them, basically. It's so long, boring, and Slamek is a complete whiny brat that nobody likes. And just a very long and boring mission. But we gotta do it. Thank you, my friend. I'm feeling better now. I think I can continue. As high as you are, you should be able to take me. Let's head to the canyon entrance. I want to get on top of that arch and get a look as to where we want to go. It's still in the video, then. You know, it worked out. Sometimes they don't like us. Yeah, I can't. Climb that, it won't let me. Really shame it looked cool from up on top of that arch. Now that we're in the canyon, we shouldn't have to worry about the fighters anymore. Just the local wildlife. Keep your eyes open. So that I don't know those are little teddy bear thing. I don't remember when I was a kid. On, hurry up. So slow. So that can be dangerous though. I guess we get to eat. 
something that would have been cool to have been on the top of that canyon. Could have seen that Salak there. Oh, more Salak. They belong on Vulcan anyway. They shouldn't be here. Invasive species. We're doing we're doing the the, the the we're doing the planet good. We're doing keep to the rocks we use for cover. A long way to go yet. Come on, Slamek. Come on, Slowpoke. On all be, you know, dawdling. The weather isn't going to hold out for too much longer. We should look for a place to spend the night. I've noticed that there are things we can gather along the way to make our night more pleasant. I really like what? The search patrols are moving on. We will not survive a night in this desert. We need to find shelter and safety. If we can scavenge provisions to create a camp, we'll have a better chance of reaching the wreckage of my ship alive. Um, what, do we, what do you think we need? We will need water if we are to survive. I've noticed gourds growing in this area. If we can hollow one out, it will give us a container to carry water. And there should be a few small springs near this mountain. Okay. What's carpets of metal? Oh, oh. Springs is in water springs. Okay. I need to find some gourds. No good. No. Ah, here's one. Spiders pour out of it. Damn it. Any more around? This way. Okay. Fine. Yeah, make it more difficult just so you can wind some more slamming. Why shouldn't I? And how many times am I going to have to rescue you? Wait, did you say you found one? Running around like that, you make me dizzy. Keep moving. Bring some water. A gourd. More spiders. Yikes. Well, maybe somewhere around this next bend. 
Yeah, there's one. And I heard some water then. Yes, we got a hollowed out gourd. Any water around? Gear water. Add it over here. Oh, now I can play Captain Kirk and climb a mountain. Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? I hear you asking why I'm climbing a mountain. To hug the mountain. To envelop that mountain. With hug the mountain. To envelop that mountain. There's some water. That should last us through the night. Let's get into this cave before the temperature drops anymore. Oh, look, a handy dandy cave. The temperature is dropping rapidly now. This cave should protect us from the elements. I've done some exploring. It looks like this cave continues the sun the rises, rises side of the mountain. We could save time and energy by using the passage instead of trying to find a path over the mountain. Excellent. The passage saved us hours. This of could walking. be a good day. Let's find my ship. My ship isn't far from here. I think I can make out smoke from the wreckage on the horizon. If it's still smoking after a week, I don't want to go anywhere near it. I can see it. There it is. That is a screenshot. There she is. She wasn't much to look at, but she was ours. And when we were flying through space, we were free. Perhaps she can help us one last time. Maybe. Looks like a big hunk of twisted metal, though, pouring pollution out into the atmosphere. Not sure I really want to go into that. Somebody's looking for us, so they've certainly found us now. We should check to see if the emergency beacon survived the crash. But, in the likely event it didn't, we might be able to piece together some components to create a makeshift emergency beacon. Where would it be then? In here? No way this vessel will ever fly again. The damage done by the fall to the plant's atmosphere is severe. 
If the emergency distress beacon wasn't vaporized in a crash, it's probably buried under 30 meters of rock and sand like the Singularity Drive and the cargo bays. We do, however, find a backup generator with a minuscule amount of energy left. To the right components, you think you could construct a makeshift subspace beacon to contact your ship. You won't be able to do anything more than transmit a few pulses to let your crew know where you are, but it should do the trick. I bet we should have taken a Viridian patch with us. So we need to find some gear. Let's pull out the tricorder and see what we can find the gear. Okay, there's something useful that way. I don't want to be... If there was big spiders in the gourds, I don't want to know what could be in anything else. Hiding in the equipment. Communications are right. What else is there? Something that way. This reminds me of that time we crash landed on a Gorn planet. Planet fighting the Gorn. Oh, but that, that, that was a while ago, you know. Like a hundred years ago. Anything useful here? Ah. Looks like a subspace antenna. Where's our next piece of gear? That way. Okay. First, we'll climb up on top. I want to see what the extent of the damage is. Oof. Find the bit we need. Like it's right in front of us. Navigation beacon parts. Okay, let's attach this all up. I'm still keep an eye out. You never know when somebody might drop in on us. Creatures don't like to be disturbed. You never know, Slammer. Keep watch. I'm going to connect this up. Okay, we sent the signal. We've done all we can. Let's go head outside. Wait. Hope we get rescued. Did you think you could run? From me? There is no place where I cannot find you. My spies are everywhere. Prisoner 1478, take your place. You did your job admirably. It is good to know at least one Riemann understands who is the master and who is the slave. The loss of the listening post was a minor setback. The Riemann's refuge in the Dera system has been destroyed. Dozens of subjects have been tested in my arena. When the Iconians return, they will find I have done all they have asked, and more. But you will not be there on that dreaded day. This tiresome game ends now. You could have been such a fascinating test subject, but this time, no. This time I think a more direct approach is best. Ready? Aim. No! Ooh. 
Oh, that was lucky. We got beamed up just in the nick of time. Let's, uh... Whew. Just give me a second to, to, to calm down, please, crew. Okay. Why'd you let me go with that Viridian patch? Okay, never mind. Communications, get me over sec, please. I apologize for Slamik's action. I had no idea there was a traitor in our midst. If his actions caused harm to you or your crew, forgive me. That was not my intent. However, your trip to the Nopata system was not in vain. Now you see. Now you know. Hakiv is a pawn of a greater power. The demons of air and darkness are here. You should report to your superiors. Tell them what you have seen here. Open their eyes to the dangers that lurk in the shadows. All right. Over sec. I'll do that. But that concludes this mission, Colosseum. All right. Uh, so we get our experience points, our expertise, the Riemann prototype shield, and some Dalithium ore. Congratulations, Captain. Takes us to a high 38. And on that note, uh, it is time to end this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. And uh, in this episode, we found a, a base on the... On the uh, on the information by Obersec, but it turned out to be a different way of finding it, I think. Don't you agree? We found Slamek again after we freed him, like, eight episodes ago. From the Romulans, he t turned out to be back and brainwashed. What a bastard. Um, that, uh, them is the breaks. We managed to escape just in the nick of time from a firing squad. Which is quite dark. Anyway, again, thank you all for watching. If you liked this episode and enjoyed it, please uh, hit like. And uh, if you've not subscribed, then please subscribe. But until next time, from me and from Lobsang Blood, take care, be safe, and see you next time.